Welcome to Bitch Talk, booze interviews straight from the heart of San Francisco. I'm Erin. That's Ange. Hi. That's Char. Hello. You can find us at bitchtalkpodcast.com where you can sign up for our monthly e-news. For behind the scenes videos and two minute clips of our interviews, head to our YouTube channel and subscribe. You can find us every other Thursday morning at 9.30 a.m. at bff.fm. And if you like what you hear, rate and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. For the love of God, do it. It really helps. All right. Here we are. Here we are. We've reached the end of our time together. Yeah, in person, that is, for now. <laughs> We're sitting on the beach, which is a first for Bitch Talk. We have never recorded from the beach. So this is exciting. I guess that's true. Uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a bookend to our Emmys coverage, which uh, went out a few episodes ago. A few lifetimes ago, really. And when you last heard from us, we were... Dying. Uh, no. Yeah, exhausted. No. We were dead. Just got home from one of my favorite dive bars in, in Sunset Beach, Turks. And since then, we've gone to Disneyland. We had a, we had a crazy day, action-packed yes. day. Very action-packed. <laughs> uh, felt like a whirlwind. This this four-day, is it four-day, three-and-a-half-day trip? Three-and-a-half-day, yeah. Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Three-and-a-half-day trip feels like two weeks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, I feel like we've crammed enough stuff for... Yes. Like, have us sitting at um, the yard house seems like <laughs> a lifetime ago. That feels like four years ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But Disneyland was fun. It wasn't too too packed, but it was hot as fuck. It reached 99 It was degrees. very warm. 99. And um, to Angie's point, because I mentioned it while we were at Disneyland, I swear to God, I thought in, at some, in some other life that at least California Adventure had um, misters in line. But I was totally wrong. She's like, yeah, I don't think Disneyland does that. They should. Hey, Disneyland. Maybe put some misters in there. You it's have hot, the money. Hot AF. They do it at Magic Mountain, but yeah, I yeah. I've never yeah, seen them at that Disneyland. At, at Universal too. The only thing I saw were fans at the what Incredicoaster, but that it was like towards the top of the line when you're close to getting on. Um, but yeah, yesterday misters would have helped. But we, it was our first time for two of us, Aaron and I, riding Rise of the Resistance, which is the Star oh, Wars yeah. ride. And it was crazy. Oh my it god! It just is very interactive. Yeah, you are you are in the movie. <laughs> yeah, you're a part of it. You're a part of the movie, and it was really fun. It was the first time I've ever like said whoa like that during yeah. a ride. <laughs> yeah, whoa! <laughs> like when a the doors, kid. Yeah, yeah, when the doors open. Uh, but we'll leave it at that because you should just everybody needs to go on that ride. It's crazy. But, I don't even care about Star Wars, and I was like right. enthralled the whole time. But there's a secret to it because whenever I come back to Disneyland, I'm gonna need like crib notes. Mm. or crib notes on how to actually get on that ride because you have to go through basically you have to go through their app to do it right Char? Yeah you have to do the virtual queue I don't know if you have, if they're going to have it forever I mean they might just uh, for every new ride and as it gets older it right. falls off the wayside but for now uh, Web Slingers and Rise of the Resistance the two new rides have this queue that you can only get on do you think it's out. also for capac- its capacity? I mean, like, yeah, I too. think it started with the capacity thing when they reopened. Mm. I just don't know how long they're going to keep it. Yeah. So just FYI, if you're going to spend money at Disneyland, know, know the ins and outs of how to actually get on rides because it's not like the old days with the new, with the new right. rides. Right. Well, I mean, like, basically, you can't, do, you can't do Disneyland anymore without a smartphone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Basically. Great. My dreams of going back to a flip phone... Are diminished. You just need to be with someone that has a smartphone. Right, you're that's fine. true. That's true. And you always will be. So yeah, that's right. Like alone. one person <laughs> could have a smartphone. Do yeah. you really think that? I don't think you need a smartphone. Well, it makes it so much easier. Right. It makes it makes your life twenty five times well, you, easier. You can't ride the ride without a smartphone. Rise the, of the resistance. Without you have a smartphone. to have. Well, let's see here. You have to have the. You buy it online. You have to have... Or, okay, you go to the... You can still go to the walk-up, right? They had some folks out there selling actual tickets, I think. I think. When we were leaving, I saw people... You know what? They didn't when they first reopened. I guess they probably do now. That makes sense. That makes sense. 
Anyways. Oh, we yeah. had uh, we made um, new fans of the show. Oh yeah, well because I was picking oh, up my scooter. Oh, did you get scooter. their names though? No. Oh. Hopefully they'll reach out to us. But when I was getting my electric scooter, Aunt, because Ange actually needed it. Shar and Aaron were parking the car, and I was just going to meet them there because we, uh, the place I was renting was just across the street from the entrance. So anyway, we split up, and I had my cane, and I have a bitch talk sticker on my cane. And uh, this woman that was getting a, a scooter in front of me was like, oh, I love that sticker. And she laughed. And I, I, I didn't say anything because she was leaving. And I was like, whatever. I don't want to be like, you know. But I see her on the first ride we go on, which was Indiana oh, yeah. Jones. Yep. Yeah. And I was like, hey, how are you liking the scooter? And remember, she ignored. She didn't hear me she the first few you. times. I was and like, you were moated, laughing at me. Yeah. Moated. Aaron is like, and I was like, I don't care. I'm going to keep trying. And, <laughs> and I'm glad did. I did. Yeah. Because I was like, remember me? And I showed her my cane. And then Aaron gave her a sticker, and her daughter immediately looked us up and was like, are you Aaron and Ange? Yeah. And it was this whole thing. We're like, oh, yeah. And yeah. she was like, anywhere, I can find it anywhere I get podcasts. And she was all excited. So, yeah, we made a fan along the way. It was cute. And. <laughs> no, I never got their no, names. No, she never got their names. I because we. Said, I thought they said their names. No, because we were going on the ride as as she was like, "Are you Aaron and Ange?" And it was just it all happened yeah. really quickly. But that was really sweet. So shout out to our new Disneyland fans. <laughs> yeah, if you're listening. Oh, you know what? Too we didn't reach talk out. about uh, my my lovely uh, colleagues on Bitch Talk threw me a six thirty a.m. Bachelorette <laughs> surprise oh, the day that, that we oh, went. Oh yeah, see a to lot Disneyland. has happened. Um, and it's because I totally foiled their plans the night before. But I didn't know there was a plan, and Ange was really making, really wanting to make me take a shower the <laughs> night before, and I I didn't. I I ended up not. I was way too tired uh, to even try and take a shower. And I didn't realize why she was kept asking me to take a shower. Yeah, and, and then, you were yeah. being bitchy too. I wasn't anyway. being bitchy. I was <laughs> tired. She was trying to foil all of our plans. We had the whole time. Yeah. We had this whole thing about us wanting to go get donuts so that we can get donuts for the next day. And she's like, "Why are we going to get them now? Why are we going to be in good? The morning. They're not going to be good the next day." Because I didn't realize Shar was saying to get them then. I thought she just said. When we, we it'd be nice to have donuts when we go to Disneyland. So in my head, that meant oh, we should get donuts on the way to Disneyland. Yeah, but I didn't understand. But I wanted to take them to the iconic Randy's Donuts in L.A. That if you've ever anyway, I think we talked cool. about this in the last yeah. episode. So anyway, I we had decorations, eggplant decorations for the donuts, and here comes the bride banner, C U M right. S. It was awesome, and a gift for yes. our for our friend yeah it was <laughs> but awesome but we wanted to do it the night before yeah and she wouldn't shower because that would be the only time we would have to decorate the room so she showered at fucking 6am so I had to wake up Char yeah. and be like Char and that's now, why that's now. why Ange was like <laughs> what time are you getting up what time okay I didn't realize why you were asking yeah me. so why she comes so out of the specific? shower and we had we had like a strobe light yeah, on to and we played music yeah and I made up a song what was it did you we had a party. You don't know. <laughs> At six thirty in the morning. Oh yeah, that's Remember right. Remember, it was yeah, something yeah, like yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I made up a song. Yeah, and and it was great because the night before uh, we weren't invited, but there was a rager downstairs from us at our hotel. Yeah, and we on slept a Monday not. Monday from midnight to that two or three bullshit. in the morning. So like Ange and I were coming off of like maybe three hours of light sleep. <laughs> Yeah. But what was your gift? Explain your gift. Oh, so um, uh, many episodes back during the pandemic, we had a product uh, producer. Developer. Developer. Thank you. Engineer. Developer. And engineer. Yes. Yeah. yeah tech smart, yeah. smart lady. Yeah. Smarter than us. Yes. <laughs> named T. Chang on. And she's created, I think, um, maybe if not the first... Um, one of the uh, wearable vibrators, if you will, uh, and for one women. of the only, if only, made by women, Correct. designed by a woman, made and it by looks women. really pretty. And um, we've been talking about these for like over a year, and so Shar and Ange got me one and got themselves one. And so now we have a bitch talk uniform officially. Correct. So Which anywhere we go, we'll be wearing those. <laughs> um, and we ended up wearing them to Disneyland, which was fucking awesome. Yeah, we were vibing out in Disneyland. Because kind of fuck Disneyland and their wholesomeness. Uh, and the only reason why I say that is because Ange wore a bitch talk t-shirt a few years ago, or tank top. 
And the Disneyland police pulled her over and told her it was inappropriate. They yet. Made me cover it up. Yet. Yeah. I mean, I saw it yesterday. We were behind someone with like a Second Amendment gun rights shirt. So I'm like, so. Yeah. Um, what's more offensive? <laughs> mm-hmm. So. Us or guns? I guess but, us. But we were with, uh, we forgot to mention that Richard the Curse oh, joined forget, us at Disneyland. It. I was just going to bring it up. And he eventually asked us oh, <laughs> what our I necklaces took, it were. It was all day. Yeah, it was Until like we went to California Eight hours adventure. later. Yeah. He's like, what are those necklaces? And he's like, oh, is there blood in it or something? Yeah, he thought we were wearing like blood vials of like, bitch talk blood. Yeah, like. Which is an interesting Billy, thought. Billy Ray. Know. No. Billy Bob Bibby Thornton. Bob. Bibby Bob. Bibby, Bibby, Bibby. Bob. <laughs> Bibby Boo-boo. Kings. Boo-boo. Boo-boo. And, and the curse delivers because we broke uh, Space Mountain. <laughs> yeah, Space yeah. Mountain did break. Jeff said it was me and the curse coming together. That's what I said. We I said Eeyore it. plus the curse. No, you said we oh, balanced, no, balanced ourselves. Yeah, you That's said right. the opposite. Right. Uh, yeah, we got, we wait. <laughs> It was a whole thing. Anyways, we finally got onto Space Mountain, and then it like literally the tr- the car that we got into broke. So then we had to get back off. Anyways. Space Mountain is really fun though. I haven't been on in a yeah. while. Yeah, girl. that might have been my favorite other yeah. than Rise. But it was funny when Richard realized that we were wearing vibrators all day. Aaron was like, "Yeah, why do you think I've been using the bathroom so yeah, much?" Why it do was you think funny. I <laughs> because you really did use the bathroom a lot. Well, uh, <laughs> I told you I'm that was old. her favorite ride was the bathroom. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's so weird because I think when I go on car trips, I don't use the restroom that much. But yeah, at Disneyland, well, I was drinking a lot of water, though. The good thing is there are bathrooms everywhere True. and you barely ever have to wait. So if ever you're going no, to use never the bathroom waited. a lot, Disneyland never waited is the place for a bathroom, to do it. So. It yeah, it was a good day. Other it was awesome. Heat, um, and then we went to dinner. Oh, oh, I lost my phone. Oh, my that God. That was special. And was having a moment yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah, I was in a mood, lost my phone. Yeah. Oh, we didn't even talk about her iconic crash. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I, cr- I crashed my cart. I got cocky is the problem. This is the problem. The hole don't, wasn't big enough. Don't ever think, you know, you got it. You got this? No, you don't got this. Be extra careful, kids. Yeah, just check your confidence sometimes. There is they have recycle bins with yes. a circle. Yes. So that you could you know a small hole throw the bottle yeah. directly in or cup. Yes. And I just finished my cocktail and I was all speeding along yeah, in my car. Speeding, I yes. Go fast. Yeah. And I thought I could just Switch the cup from one hand to the next, and then as she's still driving, be holding the gas as she's driving because you hold the gas with your hand, not your foot. So both hands were filled, and I threw the cup, missed the hole, <laughs> ran <laughs> into the curb, <laughs> run no, into the curb. No, no, no. The play-by-play was <laughs> you threw the cup, tried to get in the small hole, it bounced back, off. bounced off, and that's what threw you really off. And then I hit you the tried curb. To catch I tried to catch the cut. Yeah. And then I hit the curb and then there was a soda in my basket. And when I hit the curb, the cap of the soda popped off and sprayed at me. It was like a five part crash. Oh, man. And then I just stopped dead. Like I just released the grass and I was like, what happened? What just happened? And I think you peed yourself a little bit. I just had a really bad stomach. You game. ran away and I was crying, laughing. and people were looking at me. I'm like, I'm not the one to look at. You. Did you just? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, like Shar yeah. said, it was so fast, but also in slow motion. And then I, oh. yeah, the last hour was a little rough for me because then I hit that stroller, <laughs> and the stroller fell, and I spilled a drink, like one of when those expensive, like slushy when drinks. When she says hit, she backed into it, and we all. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to get out of my parking spot, and it was too close to me. First of all, get out of her parking spot. Hit the, hit the stroller. The stroller tipped back. Totally and then she goes, goes back. It was top heavy. Yeah, it, it was, was, top it was back heavy. <laughs> because there was a lot of bottles. There was nothing in the front of the stroller right, and there's three no baby. Thank drinks goodness. in the back. Yes. So that's what, if I had bumped into <laughs> a, another scooter, it wouldn't have fallen. <laughs> did you know that you bumped into it right away or no? I did. I felt it. Okay. And, and then, then the I saw the slushy the... spill and I was like, well, that was probably a $20 drink. Sorry. <laughs> Whoever. Um. So anyway, and then I'm on my way to drop <sighs> off my... Um, 
scooter and I guess my phone fell out of my pocket. So when I got there, I was like, well, now I don't have a phone either. This is, I'm on a roll. She wasn't in a happy place. It but, wasn't, she, she wasn't at the happiest place at earth, on earth anymore. Yeah, but uh, then thankfully, whoever found my phone, um, Richard called my phone. They answered. They had my phone. He picked it up and everything all was right in the world. So thank you stranger who saved my day and saved my mood and there are good people still out They're there still so good people. i'm so grateful to whoever you are and you'll never hear this i think but his name's roy or ron ray or, ray. or yeah it starts with an r. r so yeah and then then we fed our faces though this well yeah i was gonna say this is <laughs> it capped off the night uh, we had dinner reservations and made it for us a while ago at this place called Captain Jack's in Sunset Beach. It's right up, right up my alley. I love places like this. Mm-hmm. It's like you're in a boat. Yeah, old school surf and turf, like laid back vibe, but yes. just the quality of food of of like a like maybe not quite hopper, but hopper quality food. When she says hopper, she means House of Prime Rib in Sorry. San Francisco. Yeah, That's okay. So um, yeah, and then we had we shoveled crab claws and prime shrimp rib scampi. shrimp scampi lobster, lobster. Uh, a football shaped uh, baked potato yes huge salad the salads huge were huge sa- I too I finish that it's and then much. Char yeah we're, had a special yeah. treat had, she she <laughs> had the most special treat of all at the end of at the end of a fun day I had a never ending uh, piece of ice that wasn't melting <laughs> Right. It, I so I was drinking. We had gotten drinks at the bar right beforehand because we were waiting for our table. Grabbed a drink, and then we went to the went to our table. Started having our, and then as I was getting to the bottom of my my uh, Jameson and ginger, I ordered another, and then I kept trying to finish this, and I was like, "Oh, that's a weird flat sh- 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 <laughs> piece, piece of ice." Piece of ice, and then I took another drink from it again, and like shook the shook the the glass and i was like wait it's not melting and it's a large shard of glass shard like huge like it a, was the a side half of a glass, glass. Yes. yes it was a big wedge out of a glass and we at that point we were like well into the night and just a little out of it and we should have been a little more pissed off about that because yeah. that's really scary and and who knows i mean we all probably ingested some ice shards or yeah. something or uh, glass shards but we told them and their answer was to buy us a round of drinks like oh you just had glass in your drink let me get you another drink and Shard didn't even take them up on that and then we should have asked for your meal to be calmed at the yes. very least because that was really scary so I, I don't know yeah I, it, <laughs> I don't know why I'm surprised Richard didn't have the wherewithal I, I mean we he's the one who brought it up but we were tired also very, I call it sun drunk. Yeah. Huh, yeah like no, so definitely. tired. Well, and the servers were, it was really good service too. So I liked them. I didn't want to be an asshole to them, you know, but they, uh, that's a fuck up. That's a major, major fuck yeah. up. So, so Captain Jack's. Anyway. It, everything was great. We love you, large but piece of glass in our producer's you sh- glass. You should have been compensated a yeah. little better than that. I might be writing an email. We'll see. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but anyways, we are sitting on the beach. I got to get on a flight in an hour and 20 minutes and uh, we got to go. So <laughs> thanks for listening. I better make this flight and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. If you like what you hear, rate and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts. For more information about us, you can head to bitchtalkpodcast.com. This podcast is created, hosted, and executive produced by Aaron Lim. My co-host is Angela Tabora, a.k.a. Captain Party. The show's edited by producer Shar. We're powered by GoTo Productions. 